Good afternoon, everyone. I work at the Arab American National Museum, and this is in Dearborn, Michigan. That's the outside of the museum. That's the inn. Our museum's about seven years old, and in recent years, our role as a cultural institution has shifted a little bit. We have a big, beautiful building, and it's filled with a lot of interesting artifacts and stories, and we have people come and visit, and they tour, and hopefully they learn something, and then they leave. Well, in recent years, we've realized that we really need to engage our community more in the work that we're doing. In southeastern Michigan, schools have severely cut back on their funding. And this is the case all around the, all around the country and in some places in the world. And the first thing that's usually cut are arts programs. So as a cultural institution, our museum is filling this void in a lot of the schools in our community. The surrounding community of the museum are a lot of lower income underserved students. And so we are in schools and are heavily involved every day with these students. We love to collaborate both locally, nationally, and internationally with different schools and institutions so that we can connect these students across cultural lines. Hence our newest venture, the Watch Your Waste E-Museum. I'm going to let our little super cat mascot tell you about it. Meow meow, I'm Super Cat, and today I'm going to tell you about Watch Your Waste E-Museum. We consume a lot every day. Now I'm sure you've heard of cause and effect at school. When you consume, you waste. So the more we consume, the more we waste. Waste harms the environment and takes up natural resources. The Children's Museum Jordan and the Arab American National Museum have decided to join forces against this waste epidemic. So they launched a project, the Watch Your Waste E-Museum. We'll work with young people from Jordan and the U.S. on watching their consumption and the waste generated from it. The questions then are these. What is consumption? What is waste? And how can we watch it? So what is more of a global issue than the environment? And this is the issue that we chose to connect these students together. Um, this is a, an online exhibit, and it's a portal for the students to learn about art, culture, community, and environmental advocacy. One major project goal is to show the students how effective a tool technology can be in bridging these gaps, both literal and cultural. And in order to really um, narrow it down, because when we talk about the environment, we can talk about hundreds of different things. But we focused on those specific questions that Supercat here asks you. So let's look at some basic questions. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, this is our um, homepage. This is it in English, and this is it in Arabic. And this is the way that we're connecting the students together um, through Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Flickr. Uh, they log on to these sites. Uh, we're also using Skype, and we hope to eventually um, bring Jordanian students to visit U.S. students. That's because the students are younger, they're in middle, middle school, it's a bit of a little bit of a challenge, but this is something that we hope to be able to do in the future. But you can see here the different, again, the, the ways that we're connecting. So, again, going back to the questions that we want to we wanna cover, just like he asked, what's consumption? And it's basically using up natural resources. And these are the different resources that we, that we have available on the earth. Um, and I'm going to talk about one specifically, water. Water, everybody needs water. It's, everybody needs it all around the world. And millions of people around the world don't have access to fresh water, while millions of others take advantage or take for granted the fact that they have access to clean water. Um, for example, one toilet flush in the West, or North America, uses more water than most Africans have for an entire day's worth of drinking, cooking, washing, and cleaning. Here's another way that we consume water. 
This bottle is about a quarter full of petroleum. And this represents how much petroleum is required to create this one plastic bottle. These three bottles contain as much water as it requires to create one plastic bottle. Americans throw away, that means they end up in landfills, 50 billion of these plastic bottles every year. That's about 140 million bottles a day. And if we line them up end to end, that's enough to stretch from here and to China and back every single day. And this is just one resource, this is just water. So now, what's waste? Well, waste is anything that ends up in a landfill. So all of the stuff that we don't recycle or don't reuse. Americans produce about 250 million tons of trash every year. What does that look like? That's the Titanic. It weighs 46,329 gross tons. To get the amount of garbage that's, that's uh, created every year, we would multiply that by 4,837. So Americans create 4,837 Titanic's worth of trash every single year. These are the, these are the things that we're sharing with the students. These are the statistics that we've put to them. And they wanted to create a little visual for you. So this is their garbage pizza. This is created by students from Davison Middle School in Detroit. And this, this is the group that was working on the yard clippings. So this is the garbage pizza, and it represents uh, the way that the waste is divided in these landfills. So starting at the top there, that's food waste, which is about 11%, followed by metal, plastic, which includes the plastic bottles, paper, glass, wood, rubber, leather, and textiles, and then finally yard trimmings. So this is what it looks like broken down in one year. And these are the issues that we're presenting to the students, and when we talk about these statistics, they are slowly beginning to understand what that means for them and for their future. So we put it to them, what can we do about it? And we've asked these students to come up with the ways and we're sharing them through the sites. So how can we watch it? How can we watch our waste? You can recycle. These students from Eunice Middle School in Dearborn are actually removing recyclable materials from inside the trash that was already thrown out um, and they're using that to recycle in their schools. You can visit a local recycling center and learn about the importance in your community and the way your community uses it. And you can, of course, increase your level of recycling. My community doesn't have curbside pickup for recycling. So every month, I have lots and lots of plastic and lots of bottles and lots of uh, cans. And I put them in my car, in my little car, and I take them to a recycling center in Detroit. This one uh, is one of the largest, actually, in the county. You can drink tap water. It's clean and it's fresh and everybody has access to it all across the United States. And in most places, it's um, you know, clean and great for drinking. You can find fun things to do with the things that you waste that would normally be thrown out. This is Heidelberg Street in Detroit. Uh, it's a community where a local artist has taken this once dilapidated neighborhood and regentrified it just by reusing things that were going to be thrown away. And it's now a world famous destination in the area and the artist speaks all around the world. It's been there for about 25 years. And the city is, this particular area, which was once filled with crime, has not had a single crime in these last 25 years after he began this project. And we took the students there in the fall and they, they loved it. You can challenge yourself to waste, to participate in waste free activities. Uh, a waste free meal, for example, these students at, um, al Ahliya Girls School in Amman had a waste-free Jordanian breakfast. So all of the items that they used had no disposable um, things in them. And you can tell us about what you're doing. Share your stories, share your ideas with us so that these kids can have a better idea 
of what to do in the future so they can share these ideas with each other. You can go to our Twitter page. You can check us out on Facebook. You can go to the main portal, www.watchyourwaste.org. Thank you so much.